flying economy is awful. I spend the whole time daydreaming how sweet life would be on a private jet. One problem with that, I can't afford a private flight to Europe. To Europe, you're looking at 15,000 pounds. Ah! So we're going to try the impossible today and hitchhike onto a private jet. Give us a lift. So, fasten your seatbelts because this journey's about to get turbulent. What you're doing is slightly out of order. You'd never ever get on an aeroplane. You'd never have. But how am I going to hitchhike in the most impossible thing to hitchhike ever? Well, I'm literally going to stand outside of London's busiest private airport and ask the millionaires arriving if they'll let me join them. Simple. Hello, mate. Our aim today is to try and hitchhike from this airport and go anywhere. This certainly wasn't going to be easy. And it was a bit concerning being this close to the security. This is all the space we've got to deal with. If someone's pulling off that road, we need to be able to stop them before they're in the door. Because as soon as you do, it's private property. Oh, there's a car pulling in now. Hi, mate. Today we're trying to hitchhike from this airport and go anywhere. He said no. <laughs> After getting driven straight past by the next taxi and increasing numbers of security, I needed to look more like I belonged here. Oh, that's better, I feel right at home. It didn't take long before I could test out the full power of the vids. Do you mind if I just speak to the guys in the back? Okay. I just want to know if I'm this, in the right place for you. Yeah, this is Big and Hill. Hi, guys. You, you have to be Big and Hill passenger terminals, yeah. <laughs> Fully bailed on that one. But the high vis does work. Hey, mate, are you flying out today? This guy's about to tell me no. Uh, no. But little did he know, my luck was about to change because a bloke who looked like security came out to chat to us. The mission is just to see A, if anyone's keen, B, where that could take you if you just ask, and then just roll with whatever. So, uh. My name's Rob. Follow me, boys, we might be able to sort something out. <laughs> <laughs> what? He clearly wasn't security, but I honestly had no idea who this guy was and where he was taking us. It can't be this easy, surely. How did this happen? Am I to help myself to a mint? Everything is free. Right on time, Rob came back with a spare high vis and an offer I couldn't refuse. Yes. <laughs> what are we doing? So it turns out Rob's boss was the man in the Tesla. He owns a business called Echelon Air that give people flight training. So we were going to be airborne anyway, but what we're going to do is we're going to take you guys down along the south coast, down the uh, Isle of Wight, and then uh, back into Leon Southern Airport, which is a nice approach in over the sea. <laughs> How is this happening? This challenge was meant to be impossible. And we've already done it within two hours. And this is it. Oh, hang on a minute. That's not a private jet, is it? Which feels like a good time to tell you the rules for this challenge. Rule number one, it needs to be a private jet. See these things? It can't have them. Rule number two, the flight it must be completely free. Rule number three, hardest of them all, we need to leave the country. Unfortunately, Rob's lovely piece of machinery was not a jet, but still, when life throws you a private flight down to the south coast of the UK, you say, thank you very much, Rob. You're a lovely bloke and I'll take it. Is that the in-flight menu? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we were two hours in and already airborne on a scenic tour of London, Brighton, and the sky before landing safely in Solent Airport. Yeah. Within two hours, we managed to get on a private flight to the beautiful oh. British coast. But ladies and gentlemen, we're not stopping here, right? We're not stopping on British turf. Day two, I've swapped in the high vis for a new outfit. The rich and famous, they love a little bit of champagne. So rather than ask them for a free trip, they're gonna get a free waiter on board with free champagne. It's a no-brainer. I need to be more directive today. Oh God. But it wasn't long before I had a chance to redeem myself. Hi guys, are you flying today? You can't drink before flying. They were pilots. <laughs> are you a pilot? Yeah, uh, I guess that's not good for me. No, there's an influx of pilots at the moment, which means passengers come next. Unfortunately, it wasn't the passengers that came oh. next. It was actually a member of security. Hi sir. This is the log of the air. What, the grass? Yeah. Okay, we get off the grass. We've just been told to move by security. I think they own this grass. I'm not sure about this bit of pavement with the yellow curb. On your property. Off your property. On, off. We've moved our bags away from the sign and we're going to see how this goes. Update! It didn't go well. Hi mate, you alright? Yeah, we Try and hitchhike onto a private jet, essentially. Right. Do you think that's possible? Nope. <laughs> nope. The scooter guards were aware that you were outside. And things were about to go from bad to worse. It'll take more than a bit of rain to dampen my spirit today. I don't catch feelings, I catch flights, baby. Fuck. 
Ow! I'm here trying to not be a nuisance. You know what they say in life. When you hit rock bottom, there's only <laughs> one way up. And that's just not true as things got escalated to the head honcho of security team and she meant business. <laughs> Uh, oh, this is just to keep the rain off my head at the moment. No, it's... Our mission is to try and get Chike onto a private jet. Won't and, happen. Uh, sorry? Won't happen. We've already been here before and it happened. Uh, yeah, but it's not going to happen today, I'm afraid. Why not? Because it's not... And I'll show you the filming. But I understand it's an airport and it's a private yeah, of course. airport. But that's what makes it possible. That's why I'm just terrible trying to get into an airport. That's a bit far enough. There was only one way out of this, and that was to turn on the old chart. Bye. You're a lovely lady. <laughs> Let's come to some sort of arrangement. There is no Please. arrangement, sir. I'm getting wet now. Wait, have a sign. This is public property here. Yeah. I don't want to annoy you or cause you any stress. I don't want to stop in our customers, please. I'll make a deal with you there. I won't be invasive to people. They okay, come in there and complain, then they're going to do something with that. And you. Don't banish me. What you witnessed right there was the schmooze of the century. That type of security aren't cool. Oh, but I'll tell you what is cool, financial security. All right. Now that's why I partnered with Lightyear for this video. Now I love saving money, full stop, but especially on investments. And luckily for me, Lightyear are the cheapest investment platform currently in the UK. Nice. And they just launched in Europe. Hutch. If you've never invested before, I get it. It can be scary to start, but Lightyear give you a wealth of information on the companies and you can start investing from as little as a quid. Nice. Yeah. A gentle reminder though, when you invest, your capital is at risk and the value of your investment may decrease as well as increase. So sign up today with my code ZAC10 and you can get a $10 gift towards your portfolio to start your investment journey. Back to the bad security. With the security in the back pocket, I really needed to make the next few hours count. Uh, no customer. So we just hit the two hour mark. Rain's not gone anywhere. I uh, you pick it up. No fucking customer. Relationship with security could be better. Are you flying today? Of course you are because you're pilots. It's very damp, but the spirits will not be dampened. I've just got filmed. Uh, I just got filmed by an air hostess. I hope you appreciate. I'm not having the best of times right now, guys, but you seem to enjoy when I suffer the most in videos. But in the darkest of moments comes the lightest of people. He just offered me an umbrella. Ah, mate, you're an absolute fucking legend. <laughs> Trying to hitchhike on a private jet. Oh, <gasps> oh no, I've broken it. After breaking the umbrella and getting splashed by a bus, fuck's sake, I thought it was best to come back tomorrow. We're back. Day three started off like any other. People ignoring me one by one, and anyone that did stop wasn't entertained enough to let me get on board. I've got a free bottle of champagne if you've got room for one more. It was clear I'd need to change my approach. And just as I was considering other options, an old friend drove past me with some new information. Yes, lad! I spoke to head of security and we came to a little understanding right, okay. that we might be here for a little while, so... Uh... <laughs> yeah. Well, you're going to be seeing us a lot more then. Excellent. While talking, Rob mentioned something called empty leg flights, which are basically flights sold cheaper than usual where the jet needs to be moved between airports to pick up other passengers. New technique unlocked. He said it's worth going to knock on their offices at the other side of this airport, so you may as well go and do that. We're at the other side. So we've got to go through this fence, which says keep out authorised access only on each side. <laughs> Hello. Hi. What are the chances of being able to hitchhike on an empty leg? So you want it for free? That was an absolute flop. Hi. <laughs> Trying to chat to someone in Bombardier about empty leg flights? Oh, the best thing I would do is ring. Shut up. Hello. Thank you for contacting Jet Class. You will be connected shortly. Oh. I'm wondering if there's anyone I can chat with regard to empty leg flights. From which destination, sir? From anywhere in the UK. To? Anywhere in the world. <laughs> <laughs> it's not something we would really do, to be honest with you. What are you looking for and who are you? Sorry, calls to this number are not being connected. Please, why do you want to get on these five? What do you think our chances are at completing this mission? Are you confident in us? Uh, no. After spending four hours in this little cafe, I was beginning to go insane. Ah! Anyway, I'm not going to let the vibe get to me. I needed to think of a completely new strategy if this had any hope of working. Unfortunately, day four didn't start any better. 
can I ask what the hell are you doing? We're basically oh, you're the same guys. We're going to be non-invasive. Well, you are invasive. What you're doing is slightly out of order. There are plenty of other airports you could be doing this at. So I'll get him out and we'll sort him out. Let's leave it at that. I'll get him out. We're well, being very reasonable here. Hey? Believe it or not, this angry, angry man there was actually head of marketing, which is ironic because if he wasn't acting like such a silly pants, then I may have recommended his airport. Ah, oh, well, we're going to a new airport. And oh boy, did I have a secret weapon up my lovely mustard coloured shirt sleeves. Bring him in, boys. Hello and welcome to Small Jet TV. I'm your host, Zach Olsop, and we're trying to get on a plane today. And already the TV crew was making some waves. <laughs> No. What's your name? It don't matter, do it. Are you a murderer? Yes. Help! Help! So he's been uh, kidnapped by a bold man. We're back. We're, we're back. I haven't killed him yet. He doesn't own a private jet, but he does own a lovely Vauxhall. <laughs> do you think we're going to succeed in the mission? Absolutely not. <laughs> but we're going to keep going. <laughs> he's fucking driving the wrong way down the road. Go on, lad. Enough car hitchhiking with bold men. I had a serious mission to complete, but after getting rejected again, quite rudely, Hi sir, no, my confidence had dropped to an all-time low. But as I said before, when you hit rock bottom, there's only one way up. Well, not always. But in this case, something very mad is about to play out right in front of your eyes. Just as we were all discussing how we could make this work, a car pulled up and asked what we were doing. What is it you're for? I'm trying to hitchhike onto a private jet. Are you? We are indeed, yeah. Come back on Sunday. Come back on Sunday? Yeah, we've got to go to Barcelona. To Barcelona? Let's go. Do you want my name? Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to take us in and put us in a back room, are you? Oh, it's down there. Oh, yeah. You're currently on private property, and stopping the vehicles is going to end up causing an issue. I'm part of the management team over here. It's become more of an issue with you guys stopping vehicles, stopping taxis. We didn't stop these guys, yeah. by the way. They, yeah, they no, were no, 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 Some no. of the taxi drivers have been saying that we're pulling them over. We are going to have to ask you to move on. OK. Uh, uh, what the fuck just happened? Chief, I felt like he was taking the piss at the start. Right, so what's just happened? It was very hectic. We've just got moved on by security. The police arrived. And then also three lads in a car who work at the airport asked what I was doing, loved the idea, and they've taken my number. So we're in a position now waiting for a call or a text. Hello, hello. Hi, Zach, how are you doing? Yeah, good. Mystery man at the gate. Sorry about that. That was getting a bit hectic then. No, um, that's okay, don't worry. What I could do is, uh, I could tell the airport you're going to come on, but no filming. Get you in here, we can discuss, see what it is you'd like to maybe do, whether we can get you on an empty leg somewhere, uh, whether that be domestic or international. Fantastic. All right, thanks very much. Cheers, buddy, bye. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Looks like we're going through the gates. God, this video is it's a fucking roller coaster. We weren't allowed to film inside the airport, but here's some dash cam footage of us rolling up to the exact security that kicked us out just moments earlier. The TV crew may have been the most genius idea that I've ever had, ever. The three guys that stopped in the car, I pitched them the idea, the story of hitchhiking on a private jet for free. Something that sounds impossible, something that should very well be impossible. And he loved that as a story. There's a flight leaving tomorrow to Barcelona. There's currently no one booked on it. If that remains the case, then there might be room for us to hitchhike. I can't believe those words are coming out of my mouth. I'm crossing everything right now. I can't deal with any more rejection. I won't take another ego-fueled security man telling me what private property is, his or not. I hope for my own sanity and Scott's, this is over. Hello. It's 10 p.m. Now, I've just received a voice note. This is either good news or bad news. Hey Zach, good to meet you earlier and I love the idea of making this happen. I've spoken with the owner's representative for one of our private jets. I am happy to tell you you've bagged yourself a free private jet ride to Barcelona tomorrow at 8am. I'll see you there bright and early. Don't forget your passports and your sunscreen. Oh mate, holy fuck. It's fucking worked. <laughs> I'm going to bed. I've got a flight tomorrow. Morning. Morning. Oh my god, this is exciting, isn't it? Have you got your finest garments on? Not really, no. I'll be shorts and a uh, wee flower and top on. <laughs> when life gives you a private jet, you got to take your family. I hope that's not for us. I can put on McDonald's on it. <laughs> Trying to check the price there, Scott. Is this the first hitchhike private jet you've ever had to deal with? 
Yeah, it's ever been successful, yeah. When you were trying to have a second child 27 years ago, did you ever think that that son would get you on a private jet? No. Here we go. It's been a long old road. Days of rejection, security and police being called. I can't believe we've actually made it. Morning. Have you and any barrel rolls today? Or? No, not today. I don't feel like it. <laughs> Woohoo. So, as we taxi towards the start of the runway, I couldn't help but think about the journey it's taken to get to this point. Four days straight of rejection, standing in the rain, flirting with security. But it just goes to show if you cut out the people in life who don't believe in you, you might just bag yourself a hell of a story to tell the grandkids. Here we go. We can't take this away from us now, Scott. We're in the flight. All the pain was worth it, my friend. No more go with well that. I had the eight McDonald's on the G4. Happy Father's Day. Which of your children has given you the best Father's Day present? Yet? No, you can't put that <laughs> But it's not Barcelona, it's just not amazing. <laughs> He's put a wrong digit on his book. <laughs> Thankfully, my dad was wrong and we did make it to Barcelona. Unfortunately for me, I didn't actually plan how I was getting home. Oh well, I suppose I could always swim. Can't be our suggest CBA. Dead on arrival, DOA. Home all day, no J-O. Yeah. Yeah.